Hi, how are you? Hi. Um, I have probably the weirdest thing you're gonna sign today. Um, I don't know if you can sign it now. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a Sena boob mouse pad. Okay. A so what? I don't a, a Sena boob mouse pad. I don't know what that is. I'm intrigued. Oh, fun stuff. Here you go. Ah. Hide it from the children. Uh, let's see. My friends oh, got it. Pad. My friends got it from my birthday. They're like, "Who's your waifu?" And I was like, "Santa." And they're like, "I got you." And I was like, "Oh no!" So I, it's, I just need you to sign oh, that. Just need God. you to sign it. Just sign it. Sign it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna put that right there. I'm just gonna sit there. You know. Thank you so. Thank you. Big fan. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, I could have I could have got you to sign my Wolf Children DVD. I was like, I'm gonna leave an impression, so I'm gonna give her this and see see where this goes. Good stuff. Good stuff. I don't. One of my friends got it for me for my birthday, and I was like, I have one. He's a dirty birdie. I didn't. I haven't even used it because I haven't. I just. I just have it. He's like, I need that same sort of tone for this penguin, except for you're only going to be able to say your name. Like, that's the only way of speaking is saying Yoon. And so I couldn't really do that more, more than an hour without just feeling like my vocal cords were going to bleed. Um, it's very high and high pitched. And that was a very emotional penguin. That penguin was sad because I'm pretty sure they killed their little penguin parents right in front of them. Yeah. <sighs> sad day. I mean, Monica Real made me laugh so much during Beach Girl Mach, and I'm like... Oh, yeah, she did. Her delivery of all of that content was... <laughs> I mean, it was so funny, but there's so many moments where it, people just surprise me. I don't know if I could think of really, really specific ones. My favorite con! Well... <laughs> ramen con, Avi. Um, but a few other mentionables. Um, were, well, I just got to go to a really fun one in January that was in Ireland, so that was pretty amazing, in Galway, Ireland. And then, uh, as far as scale goes, I got to go to Otakon one time, which has 50,000 attendees, so that was crazy. And back to Wolf Children again, they premiered it there in a room where 3,000 people watched Wolf Children together, which was really nerve-wracking, but really cool at the same time. Yeah, so, and anime people, when they watch stuff together, are pretty reactive people, like, oh, oh, no, you know, like, they're very vocal, and so it was, it was a really cool experience. Hey guys, we're here with Jade Saxton, awesome voice actor of some characters of mine, Sena from Haganai, um, it was uh, Michiko, no, Hachin, Hachin from Michiko and Hachin, mm -hmm. and then Haruna from Is, is This a Zombie, zombie? And, that's and right. And a whole bunch of other awesome roles. You should know her stuff if you're watching this video. Um, I have some questions for you. Yeah, um, absolutely. After Q and A panel at Ramen Con 2016, um, I have some questions for uh, some friends actually. I wanted me to ask you. Okay. Um, one of my friends who actually wants to be a voice actor. He was asking, um, when you're voice acting and doing certain um, voices, do you make faces or like heavy expressions oh. when you're doing? I'm it? all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and keep still, but it's really it's really hard. I do make faces. Um, Carla like really has a lot of eyebrow action. Mm -hmm. Like for example, she's very like this because she's like a bitchy Mary Poppins. <laughs> so she's very eyebrowy. And then you know some some characters are just you gotta be able to move your arms and be wild and crazy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I think to feel something, you gotta be expressing the yeah, way you would normally express. Yeah. yeah. So it would really, really be really hard to say something happy if your face was just like this. Yeah. I'm so happy like it's just not genuine you can even hear it like mm -hmm. I'm so happy like if you make the face like then you're there in the moment okay how do you deal with doing parts where you have to make sound effects for pain like how does that usually go like if it's a fight scene or like a um scene yeah I I mean I just sometimes those are like can be strenuous and like you get sweaty but I'm not gonna like actually hurt myself or anything like that yeah. so but I am sometimes like having a bar stool or having something and like grabbing on and <laughs> You know, like mm -hmm. like doing, like making sure that like at least I'm physically exerting in a way yeah. that would sort of reflect that. So you can actually get the grunts out. Yeah, yeah, feel it. Yeah, feel the tension. So <laughs> how do you usually prepare for uh, roles of characters that you're trying to go for? Like when you're trying to try out for a role? Or okay, yeah, yeah. like auditions. Mm -hmm. um, well, if there's time, uh, sometimes there's not. Sometimes it's just like, oh, hey, you're here. Mm -hmm. Can you do this? 
but I, I try and watch a couple episodes of the sub to get an idea about what the anime is about and get an idea of what the characterizations are like and um, then I'll show up about 30 minutes early before the audition because you don't get the sides ahead of time and then I'll read through the sides and kind of get an idea of like what I think my voice would need to sound like that mm -hmm. and then you go for it. And then uh, what about for a character that you already have the role of and then like you're just going in for a day of shooting so you're basically trying to get yourself into character for that person? I mean, we're sort of hired at Funimation and at places like that to be good, what's called cold readers. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I say I would say I prepare myself for, for acting and for being in that, you know, make sure I'm not like in a bad mood and I'm ready to just sort of like show up and be present. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily say, I mean, because we don't get the scripts ahead of time and we don't get to know what we're going to say and do ahead of time, so you just have to show up and be ready to Try it and go for it, and mm -hmm. if you don't get it the first time, you'll get another chance. But you know, you just gotta be present in that moment. What is a character role that you have done that left an impression on you to where you kind of pick up the mannerisms that that character had? Like something that stuck to you even after the role was over? You have anything hmm. like that? I'm trying to think. That's a good one. That's a good one. That, that, was that, my is, a, that, <laughs> that is a good one. I mean. I can't, one is not really coming to mind. And well, like I, any um, characters where it's like um, you felt like you were more so this character than you realized, like once before or after you took the role. <laughs> I mean, there were. There, I will say this: mm -hmm. that when I do have to do the super emotional stuff, sometimes it like lingers, you know, past recording sessions. Yeah. But um, like you can walk children like the. Yeah, it'll yeah. like you just feel a heaviness, and you yeah. feel the need to like just have some solitude afterwards and like just kind you of like palate cleanse a little bit yeah a palate more, cleanse yeah. for sure um i hope i definitely hope there are some characters that i didn't take their mannerisms <laughs> home because i play a lot of bratty characters so yeah <laughs> um all right thanks for thanks for answering a couple questions oh, for me um do you have any um like social media people can look you up on yeah or? i'm on facebook uh jade saxton voice actor I'm on Twitter, JB Saxton, and Instagram, Jadere, J A D A R A D E. Like yeah. and follow, guys. Thanks. Like and follow. I'm um, always looking forward to more of your stuff. And Thank you. In the future, um, are there any uh, like animes that are coming up really soon that you're going to be in? Or? Um, we just raised Castletown, Castletown Dandelion, mm -hmm. um, which is a cool new release. And then um, it already uh, like was streaming last year, but the the DVD release of uh, Death Parade is coming out soon, so I'm really, oh, really stoked about that one, yeah. Okay. yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for the time for the questions. Thank you.